This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Dawson James Small Cap Growth Conference 2016 in Jupiter, Florida. I have with me Bruce Rogers, LM Funding America. It's a publicly traded company. It's on NASDAQ, and the symbol is LMFA. Bruce, welcome to SNN Live. Well, thank you for having me, Shelley. Good to have you. Let's get started with an overview of the company, and then I'll ask you a bunch of questions. Sure. So every company's got to have a light bulb moment, and the light bulb moment for us was this. When you don't pay your property taxes, they sell a tax certificate. They, you either redeem that tax certificate or they take away your house. The point being, the county didn't fire the dog catcher over this deal. When you live in a condominium association, you elect a board of directors. The board of directors sets a budget. They then tax or assess you is the polite word for it. And if somebody doesn't pay, they've got three options. One, they can hire a lawyer, go after you, throw good money after bad. Two, they can cut amenities. Or three, they can go raise money from everybody else. So what we've done at LM Funding is we've created products that bridge that gap from when somebody doesn't pay their community association assessments to when they're collected. Now. How did you get into this business? When did it come to your attention? I heard about the light bulb moment, but how did you get into the right place at the right time? Well, my background is I'm a tax and securities lawyer, and I had a great run putting together private equity for multifamily housing in 2003 to 2008. Apparently, you can be lucky and not good sometimes. I had an injury and had to kind of reinvent myself, and I was thinking of putting together a tax lien fund, but I'd missed the boat on that. And then the revelation came that there's something that could be done in this monstrous community association market that no one had ever done before. What's the size of this market? Huge. There are 65 million people in America that live in community associations. They pay 65 billion in annual assessments. In Florida alone, where we started operating, because that's where I live, there's nine billion in annual assessments. Well, delinquency rates can range from 5% or whatever unemployment is, which would be a $450 million opportunity in Florida, to we've seen as high as 20%. We've been in business now for eight years, and we've purchased $285 million of this, about $38 million a year. So essentially, we have less than 1% market cap in a multi-billion dollar industry. So let me see if I get the business model. Do you buy it at a discount and sell it at a premium? Essentially, we are a factor. We pay nine cents on the dollar, but we have to put our funding in context of what these not-for-profit boards want to do. And so we will fund their budget on a current basis, knowing full well that because of the interest at 18% and the late fees and the costs being borne by the account debtor or paid by the account debtor that we'll do just fine. On average, for every dollar we've deployed in the 12,000 payoff events, we've returned $5 in cash. We've dropped three and a quarter of that to the free cash, and then we've reinserted it into the lean machine and done it again. Are you still only in Florida, or have you expanded outside? We're primarily in Florida. We have uh, beta tested the Seattle market, Denver market, and just recently the Chicago market. The opportunity is so huge just here in Florida that we have to keep our focus on our bread and butter business and, and what we know we're doing while we still develop these products in other, other jurisdictions. So wouldn't you call this a niche market? I, I mean, it, it, this is the first interview I've done with someone in your business. Well, we're the only one in the business, so it's niche in that sense, but it's got a multi-billion dollar opportunity. It just requires a lot of capital, and uh, it's microfinance. And microfinance requires having robust software, and we started building proprietary software that tracks this money from the first day, and that's the reason people have tried to copy us and go into this business and have failed. And, and so we're still roaming around eight years later, and we've got $10 million from our IPO, and we're going to grow with that. So I would say you probably also have customer loyalty. We do. We also have customer turnover. People tend to serve a year or so on these board of directors and then they turn over. So we are constantly having to re-educate our customers as to what it is we do because it's not something that they've ever heard of and there's no reason they should have ever heard of it. But yes, once you get a customer, you should be able to keep them for life because this is just simply a better way of doing things, better than hiring a lawyer to go chase after people and certainly better than making the people in the community pay more. Let me get your website for more information, if you would. Sure, it's www.lmfunding.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Rogers, LM Funding America. 
It's a publicly traded company on NASDAQ, and the symbol is LMFA. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live, and we're coming to you live from the Dawson James Small Cap Growth Conference 2016 in Jupiter, Florida. Bruce, thank you for coming on. Thank you, Shelley.